Hey guys, Headhunter here. I uh, just wanted to do a quick intro video, uh, part two of our trip with my coworkers, Jim, Ryan, and Derek. Uh, we fished with Captain Kyle on loaded down sport fishing out of Johns Pass in Tampa. Uh, we did a red grouper video first that you guys uh, just saw, and then this is going to be our catch, clean, and cook of the different snappers we caught. We caught some hogfish, mangroves, lane snappers. Uh, it was an epic day. I'm um, just sitting here uh, getting ready to finish editing the video and uh, realized I didn't have an intro for it. Uh, watching a little move and weight fishing, editing the video as we speak, and um, hope you guys like this one. Um, it was an epic day of fishing, man. We caught a lot of groupers, a lot of snappers, and, and really Captain Kyle, loaded down, can put you on the fish. So look him up. I'll, uh, I'll put his uh, contact information in the, uh, or the description box. And uh, you guys check him out and appreciate the videos. Let me know what you think. All right, last bait. Take a trip through the tail. Let it hang natural. Over the side, watch me lose bait. It's been a kick-ass day with the loaded up Captain Kyle, Mate Nate. Yeah. Cool. Get ready to run us home. But um, thank God we brought Jim. He caught us two hogfish today, so maybe we'll see a catch, clean, and cook. Oh yeah, and a two-bigger scooper. That guy's on fire. We'll keep him around for the next trip. Let's see what we can do on this bite. Good job today. It's fun, man. Blast. Fishing was good. Bastard. He got me. Running out of time, and I got another grunt. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get to fight, but got a hogfish. We're gonna measure it. My luck, 13 and a half. Let's see what we get. This one, pull him back a little bit. Nope. He's gonna quit and be a grouper. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got a hogfish. Right. Ain't big enough. But well, that's what they look like. When you catch one, they start coming. Yeah. We got one. It's number two for the day, but it's a throwback. Yeah, come out. Little female. Let's get one we can box. I'm feeling a grunt. Yeah. We got a scamp. Scamp grouper. Jim's got one. What's Jim got? That's a scamp. Jim's got him a grunt. Making it happen. Hey, catching fish. That's what we're here for. It's fishing. Let's keep grinding it out. We're almost done for the day. It's hooked up again. Derek. Red grouper. But Ryan's got one that's pulling back. Maybe. Ryan's been wearing the grunts out. I'm thinking it's another grunt. Ryan got another grunt. Man, we gotta get one of these hogfish. We're, we got two, but throwbacks. We need a keeper. Call it a call it a day. So let me check my bait. We'll, Try it again. Jim, ground fishing. Look at that. Cute little one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lake size. Where are you? Calling the river? Yeah, that's okay. Another gag. Keep trying. Derek's hot again. I was a little snappier. Is it a grunt? Is it a hogfish? Is it a grouper? Nope. Derek's slinging porgies today. One more for the box. Ryan had a good one. What's he got? We got a double. Jim's got a good one. What's Ryan got? Ryan's got a gag. I bet Jim's got one too. Well, one of these times, gotta be a hog, man. I think it took my 
my bait. So, Jim, it's looking like a gag. Another gag for Jim. Derek's got a good one. That one's not fighting like a gag. That, one's, that might be the right con, Derek. That one's fighting. Ryan, how we doing? Doing well. Fishing. I'm just waiting yeah. on a bite. Derek's got the hot rod. Another gag. Another gag. Dang, a big one though. Yeah. Well, we're damn sure catching some groupers, but out of season. Let's see what I got. Nothing. Waiting for a bite. Oh, no, I'm getting a bite. Let's see what happens. Doubled up. I'm catching grunts. Another grunt. All right. Thanks for bending the rods. There we go. Jim's hooked up. Derek's got a grunt. What's Jim got today? Make another grunt. Got color, Jim. What do we got? Another grunt. There's a lot of these. A lot of grunts. Ryan, hooked up. What's he got? Oh God, big grunt. All right, one more grunt. Derek's hooked up. Real when you can. Real when you can. That might be a good hog fish right there, Derek. Get ready. Get ready. That might be the one we want. There you go, buddy. Lift him up, just reel down. Just don't let that line go slack. Uh, big old gag. That's why. Damn gag. Look at that. Not a bad gag on rod, on spinning rod. Yep. Damn, you weren't supposed to see that on video, but it happens. There's just a lot of gag reaper down there. Little ones. Surprised there's no more hogfish on there. Yeah, I'm tripping a long time. Yeah, we were, we were dropping those trips, bro. So we ain't gonna miss. I whiff, so let's see what Ryan's got. Probably another gag. Oh, we got another somebody's line. That's probably you, Derek. Hold on, yeah, don't realize too much. Oh, another gag oh, yeah. for Ryan. Cool. Alright, finally. Ryan finally hooked something. Derek's got a good one. Derek, you gotta turn him. You gotta lift him. We got a couple chunkies on. Derek's got a damn good one. Just lift him up. Derek could pump down twice and reel to him. There you go. Now just lift him up and don't let any slack get in that line. What's Ryan got? Oh, we got a gray. I got a feeling that's what Derek's got too because it's dead weight. Here it comes. Derek, what you got? Yep, you got a gray too. Another one throwback. Hey, at least you caught a first gray grouper. Good job, buddy. We'll take it. We will take it. Good job. Yeah. Got beat. 
I was about ready to change batteries and Derek hooks up. I gotta turn her back on. Hopefully we've got enough battery, battery power to see what it gets. Looks like a nice mangrove. There you go, sling him in. Oh, nope, it's a little scamp. Another grouper, another species. A little too small, that one's gotta go back. So, hey, I'm back. That's what happens when you do a battery change. Ryan caught a hell of a lane snapper. It's three times the size of the last one he caught, so we're good. Look at this, Ryan. You're a professional. Well, maybe the guy holding your line right now feeding it for you is the professional, but hey, you can fake it. Fake it till you make it. today this is all right ryan back on again you like looking into the nose that's how you call it yeah like the bottom jaw derek come back here and fish there's a keeper we're gonna put derek up on the back corner now let's see if he can do one day last drop i gotta get a bite first Saber on the back in the yard, pulling the anchor. It's been an awesome trip. I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. We caught a, I don't know, 40 groups. Got 40 groupers. Jim, the hero with the hogfish, he got us two keepers. Derek caught a couple nice groupers. Ryan got a whole lot of nice grunts. Actually, but hey, Ryan's got the box top mangrove. So, Let's see if we do a little catch, clean, and cook hogfish. If you're watching this, this is part two of a video because the grouper are going to be part one, but loaded down charters out of John's Pass. These guys kick ass. See you later. Yeah, we're good. Good? Yep, we're cleaning hogfish. These are some wild looking fish. favorite you can't get a wider fillet than them things got lucky to get two today thanks Jim these are gonna be good in the kitchen catch clean and cook making flour pan cow breadcrumbs fish sandwiches it's gonna be good tomorrow night how they do it hey everybody we're back in the kitchen uh here making some fresh cut french fries for a fresh clutch catch clean and cook uh, we're gonna have snapper three ways it's lane snapper mangrove snapper and hogfish my favorite so i'm uh, just using my french fry cutter here gonna make some fresh cut french fries because it's the only way to make them you always want to ice them down into some ice water that way Make them nice and crispy when they're done. 
And then I also want to show you guys how I'm going to make my homemade tartar sauce. I got Wickle's relish. Gives a little bit of kick. We got, I think, six of us for dinner tonight, so I'm going to make a good, good bit of it here. And that way, this stuff, you can put it right in the refrigerator when you're done with it, too. Uh, Duke's mayonnaise. Kind of equal parts. You know, you just want to get it. I like mine a little heavy with the pickles. Or with the relish, I'm sorry. So we'll do a little bit of that. Some hot sauce. It's my favorite hot sauce. A little bit of that. Last but not least, the old reliable Old Bay. Watch putting the Old Bay in there too, because Old Bay is pretty salty. So just kind of want to eyeball it. You want just a little bit of kick and flavor to it. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Mix it all up till you get the right consistency here. And then uh, once we get her all done, yeah, that's about, we're getting about right. We're like lots of relish in it to make it look good. You can even throw a little bit of onion in this to kick it up a little bit too. But that's it right there. You mix it up good and then we'll spread that on to uh, the fish sandwiches that we're about to make. And I'll show you the process there of doing those. Hey guys, now we're on to uh, seasoning fish. Um, always love using this. It's uh, Everglades Fish and Chicken. Uh, thanks to your meat for dinner. Not that I'm trying to steal this thunder, but um, this is the hogfish. This is lane snapper and this is mangrove snapper and then I snuck a piece of porgy in there too. Those things are pretty tasty. So um, I'll just show you guys one of them how we do it here. Just make sure you season it pretty good both sides and it's a multi-step process. Just basically take the hogfish here, get a good little flour base on it. Then I'm going to move it over and put an egg wash on it. And this is going to make it super crispy and good. <laughs> Drip dry it off and then we're going to roll it in breadcrumbs. Get it all covered up. Give it a little shake off. And then we're going to lay it on a pan just like that and be good to go. And we'll see you outside here in a minute when we get to frying it. Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, Missed. I got french fries going in the fryer. Got the grease. We're gonna go ahead and get the. All right, everybody. Here's the fish sandwich making. But I just want to show you guys. Pops, he's got his. Hunter, he's got hers. Jack, he's got his. Wonderful. I was I was gonna make my sandwich before everybody else, just so I could get it on video. The fries, they turned out amazing. Uncle Matt finishing his. I had a plate full of fish. Yeah. I barely got enough for a sandwich, so let's throw this down here. So, making my sandwich, I got toasted bunny, a little tartar sauce on each side. And then I'm actually going to go sneak attack. I got hogfish, and it looks so good when I was filleting or. Uh, battering it up that's a piece of porgy and for those that you don't know i know it's a little like porgy is on time so let's throw a little onion on there a couple pieces of lettuce a couple tomatoes throw that up on top and a coat and jenny over the shoulder in the microwave sorry i had my fish a little bit and then last but not least, eight batches of fries is all that's left. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're gonna throw some fries, the fries on there. Are amazing. They are pretty damn tasty, so. Hope you all liked the video. I said, I think we're gonna do a part one and part two. Um, this is a hogfish one. We had a kick-ass time. Thank you so much, Captain Kyle on Loaded Down Sport Fishing out of John's Pass. Nate the mate. My coworkers at a car, you guys are amazing. Jim, Derek, Ryan, who I got a lot of video, but I didn't get any pictures of. But hey, they had a blast, so it was really cool. So I'm gonna get into this fish sandwich, these fries. Clifford, you want some? What's up, Clifford? Ooh, Clifford gets French fry. <laughs> That's the way we roll. 
Until next time, guys, more content coming. Make sure you like and subscribe to the page, and uh, we'll keep them coming.